Hello Sagittarius, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your money and career reading and just to convey a little bit of the Christmas celebration spirit, I've got this and this. <laughs> so let's not lose any time and go right into shuffling. So as usual, we're gonna first cleanse the air. So this is first of all for protection um, and secondly to draw the right spirits in, not the wrong ones. So we've got a little bit of Palo Santo smoke here. Sometimes you can't see that on cam. So there we go, I think you can see that now. Okay, now let's go right into shuffling, shall we? Angels and spirit guides, please let Sagittarius know the right information for their money and career life, please. Money and career for Sagittarius, please. Money and career for Sagittarius, thank you. Okay, we've got Eight of Swords. Money and career, please, for Sagittarius. Money and career for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius have to know, please, in order to be safe and developing well in their money and career life, please? Okay, we've got Eight of Cups. Three of Wands, Knight of Cups. Good. Anything else, please, for Sagittarius? Anything else for their money and career life? Okay, this one jumped, so we take it out. The Ten of Swords. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got another jumper. The Ten of Pentacles. Now that's a good ending. I'm going to take that. Perfect. Now let's see what the angel deck is saying for your money and career life. Can you tell me, angels, why is the Ten of Swords here and what can Sagittarius do about that? Is there any advice for Sagittarius for their money and career life, please? Okay. We've got a jumper here. The Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning. That's good. That's good. Now let's get of the tiny cards, a little bit of a positive affirmation for Sagittarius. Is there any positive affirmation, please, for Sagittarius for their money and career life? Any information for Sagittarius for their money and career life, please? take time today. If no card wants to jump, we're gonna pull one. <laughs> no card wants to jump today. Okay, then we'll take another deck. I think it's the wrong deck. We're gonna take the money cards. Oh yes. Can you please tell us what's important for Sagittarius to know about their money and career life right now, please? Okay, we've got a jumper. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I think we're done shuffling and we will go right into your interpretation. So 
Sagittarius, here is your money tarot reading. First card that fell was the Eight of Swords. So we have a challenge of the mind here. And what challenge of the mind can we get if we are talking about money and career? Of course, it's how we are related to money. So uh, in our society, there are some people who say it's not spiritual to want a lot of money or to have or to even like money. I think we should all love money because money is nothing but energy in a certain form. And we do live in a physical world. Our bodies are physical. So something physical is allowed to be manifested and money is that the absolute physical thing that can be manifested. So how to find out if you have a block about money? You just take some kind of bill, I've got a five euro bill here, and you look at it and you say, I love money, thank you. So um, if you had any form of trouble with that, if you feel guilty for saying I love you money, then you have a hint that there is a little bit of a mindset problem about money. So these two cards are here to remind you that this mindset problem is ab absolutely um, unnecessary. Yeah, You can love money and still be a spiritual and a good person because it's only about how we use the energy we get and not about if we get it or not. Money is in itself neutral. It is only energy and what we do with it, that's what matters. If we use it for the good or if we use it for the bad. So um, this card is basically saying exactly the same thing, that the physical self is materialized mind. So if we have a problem in our mind about money, then we will have trouble manifesting it. But if we start loving money and being thankful for the money, not only the money that we get, but also the, the money that we are allowed to spend, Next time, if you go buy yourself a coffee or whatever, just say to yourself in your mind, thank you, money. Thank you that I was allowed to spend you here. And every time it comes in, you can also say thank you to it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So this is a reminder you are in a physical world and that's why it's okay to love money. Um, <clears throat> this is the ace of swords or the ace of thinking. This uh, has come out to tell you that you should always communicate as clearly as possible because other people, they cannot uh, fathom or just guess your wants and needs and desires. So if there is anything on your mind, you have to speak about it really clearly. And it also says if there are any little challenges or problems like the, Ace, uh, the Eight of Swords here, then don't let this bring you off your way. This is just a little challenge which you have to, um, let's say, not drive around, like um, make a little uh, detour about it. Yeah, so it's it's just gonna maybe cost you a little bit of time, this challenge here, but it's not something that will diminish your entire project which you're working on, okay? So then we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a beautiful card. It's talking about speed, velocity, travel. So maybe you've got a car and you're traveling somewhere. Um, it's also about making very quick decisions about your um, future career life. And it's about facing your desires head on. So whenever a challenge is gonna come up, you're gonna feel like, yes, I can do that, no problem. You just have this uh, ability to believe in yourself. And with the three of wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in. So you're, you need a little bit of patience because the uh, results of your efforts, they won't show up immediately. They will need a little time. So here you see a person standing at the shore, looking out and waiting for the ships to come in. So you will need a little bit of patience before you see the actual effort, um, the actual outcome of your effort. Uh, but it is definitely a sign that you are making progress and that you're moving in the right direction. Then you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a card of emotion. So obviously you put a lot of emotion, a lot of, you know, 
your whole heart is in this project, in this work that you do, and you have some uh, creative and artistic tendencies here too. So that's a positive thing. Then we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords can say that in your money and career life, there might be some people who are jealous of you. There might be some people who see you uh, thrive. They see you getting the money. They, get, they see you getting the appreciation and they get angry and envious and they feel like they want to stab your back. But this is only a reminder um, that you can be safe as long as you don't talk too much. Yeah, Be a little bit of private uh, with your information about your work. Don't tell everyone how much money you gain or earn. <laughs> Uh, just be a little low-key about your privacy, protect your privacy, because as long as you do that, nobody can harm you. And then last but not least, we have the very best card that can be in a money reading. Yeah, This is the Ten of Pentacles. It can't get any better. So if, if you have the patience to wait here with uh, the Three of Wands, you will get the outcome that you wish for, the Ten of Pentacles. This is absolute abundance, absolute bliss. You have enough to not only feed yourself, but also feed your family and maybe even put a coin or two aside to either invest in something or to, to just put the money aside to save for for the old age or whatever it is so this is a very very prosperous card um, so to sum it up you have you are on the right path you need a little bit more patience your outcome will be absolutely positive as long as you protect your privacy stay low-key don't tell anyone what your plans are because sometimes we have a wonderful idea and if we tell someone else then this person can steal the idea yeah so if you have a good idea keep it for yourself you don't have to tell anyone and then you're protected um, also, we have this little money mindset uh, obstacle here. So please change your money, uh, your mindset about money if, if there is a little block that you have detected and start loving money because money is a beautiful thing to have and it's nothing negative, it's not evil. It's basically neutral in its essence. So Sagittarius, I hope you did like the reading. If you did, then you can leave me a comment on how exactly it resonated for you. Also, go see my other playlists. I've got monthly and yearly tarot readings. I love you guys and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for being here. Bye!